Hello and welcome to Wagtail 2.13, version 2.13. Uh, what I'm going to demo today is a really cool new feature. I'm going to demo it on the Wagtail Bakery site. And this feature is commenting inside of your edit view. So I'm just going to go into my admin here. I'm already signed in, so it's going to scoop me right in here. And I can click on any page and I already have one in here that I was playing with earlier. It's really fun to play with. Uh, but let's go to a brand new page, something that, uh, yeah, let's go to bagel. All right, so when you go to edit a page, you're going to see this nice little icon on the right. And when we click it, you can see that things sort of move over to the left. It gives you a little bit of room. Now, right away on a fresh page, you're not going to see anything different until you actually hover over one of the fields. And then you're going to see this nice little icon here. And just to demo this, if we have this toggled off, you're not going to see any comments at all. It's going to hide it for you right away. So we're going to turn on comments and I'm going to leave a comment on here. And all I have to do is click that little comment icon and I can immediately write a comment in here. So I'm going to say, let's name this bagel 2.0 because it's a futuristic bagel. And I'm going to leave that comment on there. Now we can comment on any field type whatsoever. We can comment here, we can comment here, we can comment on images, we can comment on really anything. So let's go down and play with something a little more advanced. Let's add a paragraph block because rich text editors work a little bit differently from basically the rest of the web. Okay, so I just filled this with some lorem ipsum text. And what I'm going to do is demonstrate that there is no little icon to the right anymore. In your rich text editor, your commenting icon is built right into the toolbar. So let's go ahead and select a few words here and create a new comment just on these words. So what does this mean? Let's leave a comment there. And anytime you leave a comment, you're going to, you're going to see right away that it says you have unsaved edits and comments. Save the page before leaving. So if we try to refresh a page, it's going to give us a warning so we don't lose our work. So I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to lose that work. I'm going to save a draft here. And you can see that my comment here was saved and down here it was saved as well. And we can do this in multiple places as well. Let's just say a second comment. And that's really all there is to it. Now, if you want to have a little bit more focus while you're editing and you don't want to see all these comments, because maybe you have five or 10 editors on a really important page trying to make the perfect content and you want to write some content and it's just a little bit less distracting to not have all the comments right in front of you right away. We can just go ahead, and toggle those off. Now I'm going to put those back on. And what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to create a reply to a comment. So one person can create a comment and another person or even yourself can reply to that comment. This is a great idea. I'm going to leave a reply there. Now, at any point in time on your comments or your replies, if you make a typo or it's just no longer relevant, you can delete them if you want to. So you just click these three little dots here and you can edit this if you wanted to. I'm going to cancel because I think that's a great idea. Bagel 2.0 is the future of bagels. Or if you wanted to, you could delete it and it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete this? I could say yes, and it's going to delete that comment along with the replies. So let's go ahead and delete that and boom, it's gone. Next, we can go down here and let's say, maybe this is no longer relevant or maybe this has a better comment on here, something that's been resolved already. And you can see when we click on this, it actually highlights which comment you're on, which is really, really cool. I love that feature. I'm simply going to click this checkbox and it's basically going to mark it as resolved, as in it's no longer needed anymore. So let's go ahead, resolve that, let's resolve that and they disappear for us. Now, as always, we have unsaved comments. At the bottom here, it's gonna tell us that we have unsaved comments. Let's go ahead and save this page so that our comments are also saved along with this page. Now, this is a really cool feature that comes built into Wagtail right away in Wagtail 2.13, and you can do this on any page. Let's edit the home page, and you can see I've got comments turned off. Let's go ahead and turn them on. We can see that now I can leave a comment here, I can leave a comment there, there, there. In the last example, we had a rich text comment inside of a stream field. This is an actual field for rich text, so we can do the same thing here. More comments. 
Now to get comments working, all you need is Wagtail 2.13 installed and everything just automatically works for you. Now if you want to give this a shot on a relatively new install of Wagtail before upgrading your project, by all means go ahead and do that. We would love some feedback on this as well. You can always go to github.com slash wagtail slash bakery demo and follow the instructions, the installation instructions. You can use Vagrant, Docker, VirtualInv, Heroku, etc, etc. And just make sure you have Wagtail 2.13 installed and you will have commenting automatically enabled on your website. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you enjoy the new Wagtail commenting system. I think this is absolutely mind-blowing and it's going to change the way that editors work in Wagtail.